Hey, honey badgers. I just got back from a, um, you know, general supply run at Walmart and I came across these at my local Walmart store. These are uh, diamond dots. I believe these are all going to be partials. Um, they were almost sold out on the display uh, at my store. Um, they had these three and then they had one that was like, I want to say some sort of like teacup style dog. Uh, there was one that was like a little cat, and then there was one that was like that succulent plant style. I think those were all the styles they had. Um, they had a bunch of those. They were about to sell out of all these. Uh, I think they only had like one or two left of all of these. So, and the, the other ones I mentioned, they, they didn't really attract my attention as much. This was more in my style. So I figured I'd just do a quick video and check these out, open them up for you. Um, if you happen to see these at your Walmart and you're curious about what they look like, or if you see that, cause they're Diamond Dots brands. So if you see them at Joann's or Michael's or wherever you pick up your in-store uh, Diamond Art kits, I thought we'd take a look at them and see what all is in here. So the ones I picked up, this one looks like it's called Eiffel Kiss because oh, it's hard to see on the front part, but there is the image there, Eiffel Tower in the background with a couple, uh, 23 colors in this one, dots counts 4304. Uh, it does say the canvas size on the back. This one is 35 by 43. And then I picked up uh, Majesty. This is a, just a black horse in its gear. I thought this would be a nice companion piece to the uh, um, Diamond Art Club. <laughs> I was trying to think of the company that did it. Diamond Art Club did uh, the black and white. I think it's just called black and white. The horse that's standing in the snowy trees. Um, that's a black horse in that one. I did a unbagging unboxing video for that a while back. Uh, I'll try to remember to link it below if you want to see what that canvas looks like. I haven't actually done that canvas yet, but um, it's also, it's not a, it's not a partial. I think that is a full drill, but it's a smaller canvas. So I thought it would be kind of a good companion piece this one since the horse looks sort of similar. But that is, uh, that is what it looks like there. 10 colors in this one. Dots counts 5840. Canvas size on this one is 35 by 35. And then I picked up, what did they call this one? They just call this one Blackie. Uh, this is one of a Black Lab. Uh, both my Black Labs passed away a few years ago, but having been a Black Lab mom for a long time, <laughs> uh, I still get sentimental when I see Black Lab stuff. So I picked up this one. This is of a Black Lab puppy face. Um, and it's easy to say that, you know, oh, it looks like mine because, you know, puppy faces, they, you know, especially with black labs, they all kind of look similar. So it's easy to say, oh, yeah, that looks like mine. But <laughs> um, that honestly does look like puppy pictures of the ones I used to have. But there's 11 colors in this one. Uh, 8101 dots count here. The canvas size is 43 by 35 centimeters. So, I mean, give or take a centimeter here or there, they're basically all in the 35 by 35 range. So yeah, pretty sure these are all partials, but I'm going to go ahead and open these up and we'll take a look at the canvases and see what we're working with. Okay, here we go. So you saw in that still picture just a second ago, they all came nicely bagged. I figured I would skip that part, getting all of that off because that was actually a little bit of a process getting those bags off um, but they were nicely wrapped I will say that so uh, as far as inside they all come with your basic instruction sheet if you've never diamond, diamond painted before that's in there uh, they all come with the same toolkit as far as the gray tray um, the only difference between all these is that these two came with the pink squishy and that one came with the green one but other than that same pen, same size square of wax, which is decent size square, and the gray tray. So that's what your basic kit looks like. And I figured I'd go ahead and show you the drill train on all of these since they are in fact all partials. So there's not gonna be a ton of drills in these. I don't 
think any of these came with ABs. I don't know that they would <laughs> um, for partials. I don't know that Diamond Dots does. I mean, maybe they do here and there, but for the most part, I don't think Diamond Dots does a lot of ABs with their partials, but um, I'll go ahead and do the drill trains. And I guess if we run into one, we'll talk about it. <laughs> uh, I was thinking with this one though, I'm, I have some Diamond Dots metallics uh, in my own stash, spares, whatever you call it, uh, that I bought individually at uh, Michael's, I think, a couple years ago. So I was thinking with this one, I may actually swap out the gray drills that are probably included with this for the tower and do the, that in metallics instead. I haven't decided yet, but potentially might be what I, what I do with that. All right, so drill train on, what did we call this one? Eiffel Kiss, that's what uh, Diamond Dots calls this one. So you have some neutrals, I'm guessing, for the skin and uh, probably her coat in there. You've got some bright red for the umbrella. Some browns, probably for skin tone again, I'm guessing. I don't know that there'd be any in the tower, but who knows. <laughs> uh, some more brown for the hair. These are some more like uh, pinky red colors for the umbrella. A deeper red that I think maybe goes on the fold of the umbrella and then some uh, khaki kind of greenish tone for I think more in her coat and then that's also probably part of her coat as well there um, I think this uh, this was also in there oh yeah okay that's why this one um this one actually came with the most colors i think on the back of the box said this one came with 24 colors is that right 23 23 24 something like that um so more greens i'm not sure where all these greens are gonna go but i guess i'll find out <laughs> um black pretty sure that's just going in his clothes some dark blue, probably also for his clothes. Some lighter blue. Some lighter, lighter blue. <laughs> uh, some orangey color. Some interesting colors in here. You would not expect that many color variations in here. Uh, some more reds and dark reds. Uh, sort of a clay color. And then some blue. So, yeah. Oh, and then a few more tones of blue so that's all for this one um, so yeah interesting color palette in there you might not expect um, some of that blue and stuff might go in this to create more of a metal look I'm not sure but yeah that's the color palette you have for that one and then this is the one they're calling majesty this is the horse in its gear um, looking at this pretty sure it's just gonna be a bunch of grays but let's check it out. Okay, um, let me let me flip this around. Be easier to go this way. Okay, so yeah, dark gray. That's a three ten. Lighter gray, slightly darker gray, slightly darker. Is that a gray? Yeah, that's still gray. Um, that's kind of actually a gray green. It looks like more gray more gray, more black, and then a lighter gray. So yeah, <laughs> very exciting palette in this one I am. Uh, this is another one where I may um, do a little bit of the, uh, I have some silver metallic or some kind of gunmetal colored metallic that's also Diamond Dots brand uh, that I may use on the hardware just to pop it out a little bit more just so it's not all the same tone but um yeah I, I don't know I, I don't ever like pre-plan any of that I kind of just when I work on these canvases I kind of just pull them out and just sort of sit with them a minute and try to feel out where the embellishments need to go <laughs> uh, so I won't really know until I sit down with this one but that is an idea I have for this is that I may do something different with the hardware just to pop it out a little bit better and then this one they're calling blacky this is the black lab face the canvas is actually a little bit bigger than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be one of the smaller ones, but that's okay because look at that face. <laughs> um, I'm really hoping the eyes come out. I'm guessing they will. 
they look pretty good there but uh i don't know like the faces on dog partials they can be kind of hit or miss <laughs> they can be really cute or they can look a little bit odd um either way you do them either when they're doing you know the full drill on the eyes or sometimes you get those partials where the eyes are you don't paste on the eyes and it still kind of looks a little bit odd um i don't know it's just it's really hard to get it just right with dog portraits i've noticed uh so i don't know we'll see but i am hopeful because this is just too damn cute <laughs> um but yeah you don't do anything with the border or background behind him you just do the face and this is another one that's I mean there's going to be a little bit of pinkish tone or brown tone around the eyes but I mean it's a black lab so <laughs> uh, the color palette is going to be pretty self-explanatory but let's see here all right so you have some whites for the eyes some dark gray some peachy tone, which I guess is also going to be in the eyes to create that color. Um, some lighter gray. <clears throat> some darker, lighter gray. <laughs> some more gray. A little bit more brown for the eyes. Some more gray. And some more gray. Uh, and then there's also this little bit more brown. And then your whole bunch of 310 to make it a black lap. Um, so, yeah. Not the wildest, most interesting color palettes here, but now you have a close-up of what you're working with. If you want to check these out at your local Walmart or see what else they have there. Um, I forgot to mention, I think these were about 10 bucks each for all these canvases. So yeah, it's not a bad deal to try out the Diamond Dots brand. Um, I know there are plenty of diamond painters that say they don't like doing partials but I mean they're fun to experiment with uh, I think figuring out how to you know if you're the type of diamond painter that's that's not been doing it too long and you've seen other diamond painters that add the embellishments and you're like oh I like how that looks but I'm a little bit scared about you know going rogue um, this is a good way to test yourself as far as uh, what you're comfortable with doing um, what kind of color variations you can play around with if you just go and get a canvas that's like five ten bucks you know you're not out that much and you can always pop the drills off you're not out that much time so it is an idea to you know if you want to get more comfortable with experimenting and and swapping out colors recharting stuff yourself this is a good little tester canvas method to to learn that skill um so yeah just thought i would show you guys what i picked up and uh, if you have any cool ones that you've found at Walmart in these little mini Diamond Dots canvases, uh, let me know down below and uh, I'll check it out. So that's what I got today, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.